Hey guys, welcome back to the kitchen. Looks familiar, right? So today we are going to be making salmon with garlic, butter, and lemon sauce, green asparagus, and couscous on the side. So let's get to that. So guys, I put the salmon to defrost in the morning. So we have four pieces of salmon here. So we have our chicken broth, salt and pepper, olive oil, butter, green asparagus, lemon, and garlic. As we have our salmon here, so I'm gonna just pat it dry where it's very um, wet. And we're going to add our salt and pepper already. start preparing for our sauce we will get one cup the pan that we will be making our salmon in and we will add our chicken broth if you want to make it pescatarian you can just put wine i'm using a little bit of broth okay just like one fourth of a cup I'm going to start preparing the garlic. I'm gonna use two cloves. You can use more if you love garlic. So let's take these two cloves. And you wanna cut them into small pieces. Half, and then half of that. Garlic is ready. We're going to now cut our lemon. We're gonna pour half of this lemon. So uh, we have a little saucepan here that we will prepare our sauce in. We're gonna put the heat, get the butter and put around a chunk. Two chunks of butter in there to melt. So guys, our butter is ready, and we're going to add the garlic. And you want to just saute it for like a minute. Then we're pouring in our chicken broth or wine. Mix it. And our lemon. So we're going to let it simmer for around 3 minutes until it's reduced by half and while this is happening you add a little bit more butter and one and a half teaspoon of honey. Butter. And a half teaspoon of honey. So three minutes have passed and we're going to set the sauce aside. We have our new pan that is ready to be placed for the salmon. We're gonna take a little bit of olive oil and drizzle it. And we're going to add our salmon on one side. And we're going to have it cook for around six minutes on this side. So guys, while our um, salmon is heating up, we're going to prepare the greens. 
So guys, there are two possibilities to make these. Full length or in halves. <laughs> More possibilities. Or you cut them in three. So I love them cut in three, pe like three pieces of one. I will show you how to do it. It's like easier to eat, you know, it's like a little, little something. So you don't have to like cut the whole thing and eat it. So I will show you how I like it, but it's totally up to you. Have fun, be creative. So we firstly are going to cut off the ends. A little bit further, so let's see. This much is how much we're cutting off our asparagus. to take some divided and we're going to do one and two so one here and one here add some olive oil to your second pan and put these in there repeat with the rest So we have two mini ones here and we're going to cut one and then cut two. And put these here. Yes, we're going to just saute it in this pan, add some salt and pepper, any other garnishes and it will be ready to go. Salmon is nicely fried. So time to flip our fillets over. Look at that nice crust. Make sure guys, you don't overcook it. It still has to be nicely pink inside. There we go. Okay, perfect. So now we're going to fry these for another two to three minutes on the next other side. Bring some salt and some pepper. Guys, feel free to use like garlic if you want or any like thyme or herbs. I like it to keep it simple. So we're gonna fry these for another six to seven minutes. So I put a lid on here so the asparagus can cook through the inside and I'm going to leave this for like three minutes. So guys, our salmon is ready. The way you can test it is actually by looking in. You can move it a little bit, separate it and see how pink it is. So I think we can go a little more because this one's still pink. So we do it for medium heat and flip it again. So guys, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the salmon because you will see here that these are cooking way differently than this one. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna take these two out because every salmon is different. You know, I bought two different packs and some will, some will cook faster and the others won't. So make sure you see and test it inside. Don't overcook it. So if one is more pink than the other, like leave it for a little bit and take the others out. So that's what we're gonna do now. And we're occasionally stirring our asparagus. Also, you can check by piercing it. Should go pretty easy. Yeah, so we're gonna leave it on a higher temperature so it can get a little crispy and guys a little bit about the couscous so couscous if you find a really good one it's super easy to make you make it like rice you put a cup of couscous and two cups of water but i find it so bland that sometimes i don't even know how to make it better i did find an amazing oriental cup of couscous in my like it's like a how do you call it in Berlin, it's called like natural shop, but I got this and I'm going to show you because I'm honest. 
you add water and you keep stirring it for like seven minutes and it has a lot of taste and it's all natural ingredients just so you don't be like i didn't see your couscous <laughs> and the last part about this is the most important part is a lemon lemon juice I always add half of the whole half. And we stir it. So we let it sit for a bit. I turned off the heat to one to keep it warm. And I returned my sauce we made earlier to the warm. And our salmon's looking crispy. Almond is ready. We're going to serve it here. And we're going to add some fresh lime on top of the salmon and garnish it with my favorite parsley. Next step is our beautiful sauce that you can put directly in your salmon. So guys, this took me like 20 minutes and give yourself 45, take your time, prepare everything and then enjoy this meal. I hope you guys love the video and please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, so much more coming. Mwah! Lots of love.